All right, so two prominent men were let go in the hockey world today. First, we'll start with Barry Trotz, and this one really surprised me. You know, Barry Trotz, when he came in, when he was hired by the New York Islanders back in 2018, this was a guy that really brought New York back to respectability. And, you know, this was a team that on paper looked okay. They had just lost John Tavares that offseason, so that was a big loss for them. And on paper, they just had an okay group. A lot of people thought they were going to be really bad that year. And Barry Trotz brought them to the playoffs. They defeated Pittsburgh in four. Yeah, they got swept in the next round by Carolina. But the success would continue as he took the Islanders to the third round two years in a row after that in 2020 and in 2021. And New York's making a big mistake by doing this because Barry Trotz gets the most out of teams and with the New York Islanders, I think he was the perfect fit because when I look at them on paper, they're an okay team. I, I don't see a lot of stars there. I mean, Matt Barzell is a star in my opinion. Maybe Oliver Wallstrom becomes one as well. Um, but they have a lot of just good players, and I think Barry Trotz was the right coach for them, like I said, just because he gets the most out of teams. And the New York Islanders remind me a lot of his Nashville Predators teams, where they would be, again, you know, okay on paper, uh, but he would get the most out of them and probably make them better than what they really were. And Barry Trotz will coach again, no question about it. Uh, as long as he wants to coach again, unless if he decides he wants to retire or something like that, uh, but who knows who's going to pick him up. I mean, there's a lot of teams out there uh, that could be looking for coaches. You know, um, Winnipeg, for example, maybe they're going to pick him up, you know. And with Vegas, in their coaching situation, Pete DeBoer, his job isn't uh, totally secure there. So maybe now that Barry Trotz is on the market, maybe Vegas looks at, you know, letting Pete DeBoer go and hiring Barry Trotz. Philadelphia is another team that comes to mind. And I mean, that would not be good for the Islanders at all if a Metropolitan Division rival were to hire him. And who will the New York Islanders bring in as their head coach now? So as soon as Barry Trotz was fired, I saw trending on Twitter right away, Babcock. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, if New York hires Babcock, I mean, it's going to be kind of obvious that Lou Lamorello is trying to give his buddy, his old buddy from Toronto, a job. And if they were to hire Mike Babcock, personally, in my opinion, that would be a major downgrade from Barry Trotz. I mean, if you're unhappy with the job that Trotz did, I mean, I don't think Mike Babcock's going to come in and bring this team to Stanley Cup winning glory. And the Islanders, that 13 game road trip did not help them. They had COVID and injuries. I'm not trying to make excuses for them. But if Lou Lamorello didn't like the job that Barry Trotz did, I mean, at least give the guy a chance. At least give him the first, I don't know, 20, 30 games of the following season. And if you don't like the job he's doing there, then maybe you can look at a coaching change. But this really caught me by surprise. Okay, another thing that caught me by surprise was the Ottawa Senators firing Pierre Maguire. He was hired by the Sens on July the 12th, 2021, and now he's let go uh, pretty much 10 months later, just a few days short of 10 months. And I am surprised, but then I'm not surprised. Sean Simpson tweeted out that Pierre Maguire being let go is not a surprise to him at all. He thought, you know, he wasn't going to make it very long in Ottawa because he was hired by Eugene Malnick. We obviously all know the unfortunate situation with Malnick. And he was underneath Dorian as far as, you know, who is whose boss. And Dorian, you know, probably wanted to keep his job, probably wanted to keep that security anyways for now. Um, so he lets go Pierre Maguire, and that probably ensures, well, that does ensure, not probably, that does ensure that Maguire will not be the GM in Ottawa like a lot of people speculated. Now, my feelings on this are I'm actually happy that Ottawa let him go. And, you know, it's, it's unfortunate for Pierre Maguire because you never want to see anyone lose their job, and I'm not happy... Uh, you know, just to, to have that on him that, oh, ha ha, you lost your job. It's just like, you know, I think it's for the betterment of the team uh, that Pierre Maguire is gone now. Because he's too old school for me. His hockey mindset is very old school. Uh, he likes that heavy physical type of game. And that still has, you know, some, uh, some effect in today's game. I think it's still effective to a certain extent. But you don't want to have that be... The, uh, the base of your team, you're just a really heavy physical team. Um, you know, I think Ottawa needs to focus more on a speed and skill based game. I've been saying that for a long time now. And that leads to decisions like drafting Tyler Boucher. And while I don't want to write him off yet, he had a very disappointing year between his time 
in college and in junior. Because as a 19 year old player, I did not expect him to only have 14 points in 24 games in the OHL. Um, as a 19 year old playing in the OHL, you should be able to be at least a point a game guy if you're going to ever do anything in the NHL. He still might make the NHL, uh, but he's probably not going to make it in the capacity that the Ottawa Senators would have hoped. Those are my thoughts on all the news in the hockey world today. Please let me know what you all think in the comment section below. Also, please like and subscribe and share this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.